Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you an inside look into my trend trading strategy in Forex markets. Why am I doing this? Because lately I spent like, like last year for backtesting the three advanced harmonic patterns which are Garfield, Bad and Surfers on six of my pairs. However, seeing they are profitable for me and I should be making around 15 to 20% return year on year, however, the risk to reward sometimes is skewed towards the risk side. Because uh, when you get in a trade, you get very aggressively, you, you get in with the pending orders, and if the price action goes uh, rolling over against you or rallying up against you, 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 you per my rules, we trail my target. So that increases the win rate, but reduces the risk to reward. And eventually my expectancy is not as big as I want, to, want it to be. So I started backtesting the trend strategy uh, on the same six pair portfolio and initial results on the Euro dollar are phenomenal. So I wanna share the strategy with you and the initial results. Coming right up, so stay tuned. All right, guys, to show you the results and how I trade, let's go to the charts and let me show you basically the, uh, the principles that you have to account for when you're uh, defining the trend in the market and how do I approach the strategy. What signals do I use and where, where, am, I, where am I placing my stop losses and what target placements do I use for my targets one and what do I use for targets two. So let's go to the charts and let's check this out. Alrighty, so here we are on the Euro dollar daily time frame chart and I, before we start with the strategy, I just want to wrap up a, a slowly like a heads up and give you a reminder of what a trend actually is. Okay, so let me just scroll this down and let me use my tools. So when a trend is, uh, when the market is trending, we need to have for a confirmed trend, we need to have a three point move. Okay, so if this, are, if this is our starting point, this is move one, uh, pull back and move two. New structure, initial structure low, new structure low. So we have our confirmed trend. But then what happens, market tends to go up. And if this candle closes above the high of this candle, then we have a bullish rotation in place. And what we need to have is a pullback and new higher high, higher close above this highest high to have a confirmed bullish trend. More on this, you can check up on, uh, on, on your top right corner. I will link how to define a trend video that I did on this channel. So check it out. But I'm explaining this here just to as a reminder because this is exactly what happened on this chart so that you can follow me, okay? So we were obviously in some kind of a bearish move here, as you can see, making, uh, making new lows. Our initial point was here, initial structure low, a pullback and a new structure low, a pullback here, uh, new structure low here. So we were in a bearish move until the market decided to uh, pull back, but violate our previous outside return that you can see here. And what we did after this is we pulled back a little bit here, as you can see, into previous structure, and then we made a new high here. Do you see this candle actually closed above this candle here, highest high of this candle, which makes us a confirmed bullish trend here. At this point on, I started looking at a, on a lower time frames into pullback into a kill zone. And we started pulling back right there. Okay, so I will go to on an hour four time frame and check out what, it, what do we have here. Okay, as I already prepared it, here's the hour four time frame. So as you can see here, we made a new high here and now I'm waiting for a pullback into a previous outside return or a kill zone, which was this zone right here. I would expect price action to find support anywhere into, in, in this kill zone. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this zone and what I'm waiting for at this point right now in my strategies, higher high, higher close candle. Candle that will close above the previous candle highest high. When I get this, I will read the ATR from this uh, data box that I'm using here, put my stop loss below this peak here, okay? What, how, what ATR shows here, that many pips, my stop loss will go here. My target one will go at the test of the highest close of this peak here, okay? So this will be my target one. 
if I don't get a, uh, if, if we do not get a higher high prior to the pullback, okay? If we get a higher high, then my pullback will be a different one. But for now, I will use this as my target one. And for my target two, I will check out on a daily, where is it? On a daily from this pullback, okay? So I will use this price point here, extension to this, and then back. So my target two will be this. This will be my target two, okay? So my target two, 134, 923. 134, 134, 9, 134, 9, 23. 34, 9, 34, 9. Come on, come on, come on. All the way here. 34.9 sorry yeah so this is my target too just to double check is it 34.9.23 34.9.23 go to our four 34.9 a little below 34.9.1 okay so this is my target too Okay, so I know where my target one will go. I know where my target two will go. Now I need just to engage and put my stop loss if we get a higher high, higher close candle. Let me zoom in a little bit here and let's see. Consolidation, markets finally started pulling down into this zone. We get a, some kind of a bullish rejection here. Okay, lower, low, lower, close. Okay, first significant, you know, uh, bullish candle, but it's not a higher, higher, higher close. So nothing right now, boom. And we got our candle. As you can see here, we have this candle's high closed above the previous candle high. Okay, so this is my entry point, okay? Now we need to read the ATR value of this candle, which is 43 pips. My stop loss has to go 43 pips below this. It's 43 is how many? Is it 43? Yeah, 43. 43 below this one is 40. It will be 30, 32. At a 32 level. Yeah, there, there we go. So this is my risk on this, on this trade right now. This is my risk. And my reward has to be at least one to one. So I'm gonna copy paste this just to see do, am I getting one-to-one -one risk to reward? And as you can see, I will get a little bit bigger reward than my risk is, okay? Okay, so my risk in, in total is, you can always adjust it, this is just risk in pips, okay? It's 214 pips of risk, and potential win is 240 pips. Now you can adjust your risk settings so that 240 pips would be 1% of your account, but uh, you don't need to. It all depends on your on risk management strategy, okay? And here we go. Let's check out my uh, targets too, okay? My targets too are coming all the way up to here, and the targets too potential win is 450 pips almost, okay? So we are risking 214 pips of a potential gain of 600 something pips. Uh, is it? Yeah, 600 pips, roughly. Now let's see what the price action will actually do. Oh, we are starting pushing up, pushing up, pushing up, pushing, come on, come on, come on. Oh, almost hitting our targets one, almost hitting our targets one. Now in my strategy, when we come a few pips, two, four pips, depends uh, towards my target one, if on a this big, uh, on a this big of a trade, I trail my stop loss to break even. So at this point, my stop loss will be like, like this, probably positive to, uh, one or two pips, and I will just leave the price action do what it needs to do, okay? Boom. We are close for my target one, so we are up 240 pips, and now my, tra my trailing stop loss is already in profit, so I don't need to do anything. Now let's see, are we gonna hit targets two? Ah, rolling back, rolling back, pushing up, pushing up, rolling back, consolidation, consolidation. Up, 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 almost target two, but I'm not, I, at this point, I need to wait. I cannot move my target uh, trailing stops. I'm not locking in profits, not doing anything, just waiting to see. At this point, I can still 
lose on targets too, okay? I can still go, price action, price action can still roll over and hit my stop loss. Boom, and we did get our targets to hit. So at this point, guys, we got both of our targets hit and we actually netted, what is it? No, 700 pips, not 600, 700 pips. It took us a while though. If you were to take this position, you would be, how, many, how much is it? 25 days, but 25 days, look, this is a month, uh, almost a month, yeah. And this is like 700 pips. If 100 pips is 1% of your account, for example, this is kind of, this kind of a risk management is what I use. So just imagine, this would be seven, uh, no, it would be if you're taking half of your position here, another half of your position here at targets too, this would be around 3.5% gain in just one month from just one trade. This is obviously a swing trade because you took it and you waited for almost uh, four weeks for it to get completed, but it was very well, very well worth it because you're making 3.5% in one month, while many of the banks, uh, annual you know, yield on the bank, savings account is less than 2%. So this is, this is why I like the trend strategy because the risk to reward is phenomenal. There, it's not skewed to our risk side because my minimum things that I need to have is one-to-one -one risk to reward and it's working beautifully so far on Euro dollar. And obviously, I did know it did know that this uh, this uh, trade is going to win on targets one because I already backtested it. But I want to show you the results, the initial results that I have on Euro Dollar on my first 50 trades that I backtested, and I want to show you everything that I'm gathering in terms of filtering so that I ha can have a, as much profitable system as possible. Okay, so here is the sheet that I'm using. And as you can see, I netted 8,000 pips, guys, from 2011, from 2011 to 2014. So, and I'm not not done with 2014. That means uh, I'm counting, I'm I'm noting down a bunch of stuff. So I'm not, not noting down the chart interval, the what type of entry did I use? Did I use the double bottom, double top? My initial stop losses. But the most important thing that you can find is this filters so is the rsi overbought or oversold based on the 70 30 settings and same uh, is it the rsi overbought or oversold based on the 80 20. if i'm using the double bottom double top as the entry point did i get the divergence is the uh, rsi divergent uh, with my entry signal uh, with the pr uh, previous outside return in the in the kill zone that it had to pull back to did we retest the previous high low? For example, in this case, look at this. Prior to for, prior to us getting the signal candle here, we did make a retest. You see this? We de we did make a retest, and this would be a double top. So this is a filter that I'm going to use later. Here you can see uh, to see if we retested our previous high, will all of my trades be profitable if I take these signals that comes after it? Also, did we retest our previous uh, previous outside return? Did the price action come all the way down into pullback to retest our previous outside return? So that would be true if the price action come all the way down to retest the lowest low of this return, okay? Or in case if we are in bearish trend, the highest high. That's one thing that I'm noting down. Also, uh, did we violate? This is something that you don't need to. Explanation of higher time frame bias. Is it the higher time frame also? Uh, in the same trend as in we are on a lower time frame or we are in a different direction or the higher time frame could be as well in consolidation as well. And then I'm noting down if yes, uh, this is the explanation. This is a higher time frame bias. I'm putting one if it is. And is trading collision with the second position trade. So that means that sometimes you can get another signal. For example, this is a pullback into that same zone while we didn't get filled for our targets too, right? So you can get a pullback after targets one are hit and you get another entry signal uh, for a second trade while you would be still be in a trade on your pro previous second target trade. So that's something that I'm noting down as well. And guys, with that being said, I just want to tell you one thing. You see, sometimes markets are very good for uh, pattern strategies when we are in consolidation. Sometimes the markets are very good for trend strategies. That's why I'm preaching and keep saying and repeating that you gotta have diversified portfolio 
everything back tested because all of these little things com uh, combined together are making your system so much stronger, so much better. I have a toolbox of pattern strategies that I'm using when markets are uh, consolidating and I don't like the expectancy as much as, this, as I like this one. However, the good thing is that I can use that strategy and be profitable when markets are very slow, when markets are moving on a sideways. And when markets starts to trend, I can expand my toolbox, take another toolbox with my trend strategies and tra uh, trade the markets when well, they're moving up or down and make even more money. So yeah, this is kind of the inside into my trend strategy. Hope you, you hope you find it valuable. Uh, this is a some kind of educational video about forex trading. So if you find it valuable and if you're new to this channel, please click the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, smash the bell button, uh, comment below and do everything that you wanna do. Ask me anything that you wanna ask me about anything in trading. Let's start the communication and let me help you, you know? Also, uh, for the past two months, I've been writing a free uh, ebook with the everything that I wish I knew when I was first starting out. So it will, I will include a link down below so that you can click on it. It's called the how to start your Forex trading journey. Uh, you can click on a link, put your email down, put your name down and I will send you a link to the ebook and I will also send you a link to the community of traders that are, are combining the knowledge and putting in the work, a lot of work to backtest a bunch of strategies so that they can be profitable over the long run. If you want to be part of that community, make sure to click on the link below. You can see it uh, somewhere here as well. This is the free bundle that you can see on the screen as well that you, you will get access to. It includes the backtesting sheet and a lot of video tutorials that I recorded so that I can help you uh, be profitable trader. All of this is for free. I'm not charging you for anything. And with that being said, I want to thank you one more time for watching this video until the end and speak to you soon. Bye bye.